everyone. It's time for another Bible story. But before I tell you about Joseph, let's say our memory verse together. Ready? God's way is perfect. All the Lord's promises prove true. Psalm 1830. Great job. Now I want you to look around the room for your grown-up. And when you see them, point and say, you're my grown-up. Grown-ups, when the verse comes on the screen, pause the video and practice together. Today I want you to do it while you're spinning around in circles. Ready? Go. Way to go, friends. You're memorizing God's Word, the Bible. And what do we know about the Bible? Say it with me. It's absolutely true. Absolutely true. Everything the Bible says is absolutely true. That's right. Today, I'm going to tell you a true story about Joseph. And we're going to learn that God is in control of everything. When I say God is in control, I want you to say of everything. Ready? God is in control of everything. Great job. Last week, you learned about a man named Joseph. Joseph had a lot of brothers, 11 of them. But those brothers were very jealous of him because their dad, Jacob, gave him a special gift. Do you remember what the special gift is? It was a colorful coat. That's right. Joseph's brothers were also jealous of him because Joseph told them that he had dreams of them bowing down to him. Joseph's brothers were so jealous that they threw him into a pit and then they sold him to some travelers who took him far away from home. Even though it was hard and scary, Joseph knew that he could trust God no matter what. Joseph knew that God is in control of everything. Good job. Joseph's story didn't end there. The travelers who bought him took him all the way to Egypt where he became a slave to a man named Potiphar. Joseph knew that even though he was a slave, God was in control of everything. God helped Joseph work very hard and Potiphar noticed him. Potiphar put Joseph in charge of the whole house. Things were going really well until one day someone told a lie about Joseph. Even though it wasn't true, Potiphar believed the lie and had Joseph thrown into prison. Do you think that God left Joseph there all by himself? No, God was with Joseph in prison. The prison guard noticed that Joseph was a good man and he put Joseph in charge of all the other prisoners and everything that happened in the prison. Even though Joseph was in prison, he knew that God is in control of everything. One day, Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, had a dream. In his dream, there were seven fat, healthy cows eating some grass. And then seven skinny, unhealthy cows came and ate the fat, healthy cows. What a weird dream. Do you know what that dream means? No one in Pharaoh's kingdom knew either. But one of Pharaoh's servants remembered Joseph. Pharaoh called Joseph to come and help tell him what the dream meant. And God told Joseph what the dream meant. God is in control of everything, even dreams. Joseph said, God is telling you what is about to happen. There will be seven good years with enough food for everyone, but then there will be seven bad years where there won't be enough food for anyone unless you save from the seven good years. Joseph knew that God is in control of everything, even the grain that would grow in the ground. Pharaoh was so impressed with Joseph that he put him in charge of everything and everyone in Egypt. For the next seven years, God used Joseph to store up crops and food for the time when the famine would come, the time when there wouldn't be enough food for everyone. And finally, the famine came, and everyone from all over came to Egypt to find food. Everyone was hungry, and do you know who everyone includes? Joseph's brothers. But when they got to Egypt, they didn't recognize Joseph, and they bowed down at his feet just like Joseph had seen in his dreams when he was younger. Finally, Joseph told his brothers who he was. At first they were surprised and a little scared. They thought Joseph might punish them for how mean they were to him. But instead, Joseph gave them food and invited them to come and live with him in Egypt. Joseph told his brothers that God is in control of everything. God sent Joseph to Egypt and God put Joseph in charge of all the land. God sent Joseph's brothers to get food from him, and God used Joseph to save the lives of many people. God is in control of everything. This is a great time for a question. Grown-ups, when you see it on the screen, pause the video and talk about it.
Friends, sometimes things are hard and scary, but no matter what, I want you to remember that God is in control of everything and we can trust Him. When this video ends, I want you to pray together and I want you to thank God that He is in control of everything. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.